This is better than what I was going to play. <laughs> Minor glitches in this version that weren't in the original. delicious egg in this trying time. Egg. <laughs> Chat is just egg, egg now. Egg. Fuck. Egg. 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 Egg
taste is terrible. Know what sex is? Weebu is a child. Hold on, hold on a second. Weebu, wakey wakey. Weebu, do you know what sex is? This is why you're banned from stream, Weebu. <laughs> Good for you, buddy. I'm not. We're moving on. <laughs> that's, that's a fucking That's a fucking Luma from Mario Galaxy. Why are you here, buddy? I. Too hard, don't think about it too hard, it's fine. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. I'm the, the elite sniper. Don't you know? The the, the elitist. Snipers. Oh everything alright. Elite! Dax is a side stream! gotten kidnapped and tortured in Shanghai and had my baby. <laughs> okay. Gosh, think our balls did get cut off. That's kind of I mean, they probably wouldn't be censored if they were. Really. Then there's nothing to censor. Uh, they're still dull. No well, there's no reason to censor that. It's just a touch. Yeah. So that's all. Balls. Only balls. I, I'm having. Oh, I haven't even turned off the music. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry. Ah. Welcome to. I'm having a miserable time with. It's me, Zoe. 
No, you can go back. Back. <laughs> I'm helping. Um. So yeah, I'm having a rough one. <laughs> so uh, I thought let's let's do a bit of the final fantasy, right? My character is she's got a haircut. She's going through her. She's going through a goth phase, like you do. I've been pl I've actually I've been calling it her Kirito phase because of the fucking outfit. I couldn't think of find any armor that looked cool. Uh, Ar Aria, don't worry. I don't know. Don't worry. We'll keep that to the Discord. But um, you're allowed to like and dislike what you want. It's fine. It doesn't matter. I. <laughs> Welcome. I was depressed anyway, Arya. Don't worry. I was already depressed. <laughs> no, that's a that's a joke. Please don't take that. You did nothing wrong. Um, but yeah. So, um, basically, I'm having a little bit of a. I've had a bit of a rotten time. Um. So now I could be doing all these things that would be really useful to um, leveling up my character because. I want to get my Dark Knight to a higher level so I can do some more story missions with her. The problem is, I that's not fun to watch for you necessarily. So I've decided to do something stupid instead. High Flame Squadron Sergeant. My squad's back, you say? Well, neat. Look this little edge lord. Yeah, I love her. What the fuck is that? I don't even know what that achievement is. Sorry. Right. Hold on. Last five, tell me. Oh, apparently I've sent my my mob out. <laughs> of course, of course it's that. Um, anyway, let's just do a bit of inventory. I explain this. But yeah, essentially how this works is that... Um, this is a whole little mini game tied to your grand company. Essentially... Um, you can level up these little NPCs that go and hang around with you. Uh, I've made all of mine girls. Don't think about it too hard. Um, hold on, let me finish their training regimen as well. There you go, you've done it, lads. And it's a, it's it's perfectly fine. Ooh, new one of you, you're an Arcanist. What are my current squad looking like? Well, I mean you're... Worse than my current Arcanist. So there is no benefit to taking you. You're a man. Bye bye. <laughs> That's how that goes. Um, but yeah, they level up on their own. They get their little abilities and stuff. Okay, like this one. Apparently, tactical abilities increased by 10% when they incur. They're following a Thaumaturge around. Okay. So... I think that's technically better chemistry. Let's do that. There we go. And you can... You get like eight of them that you can train up separately. They all... You can dress them up in stupid outfits if you want. Which I will be doing at any... If I can think... Remember to do it. One of them's called Careless Whisper. <laughs> Don't worry about it. That's a lore accurate name. Um, <laughs> it's lore accurate. Don't worry about it. Did you get it? Okay. Your ability is possibly worse than nothing, but that's fine. Division classes. Each is increased by 5%. Yeah, no, that's a good one. Grab that. But yeah. So, you can do missions where they just go out on their own, right? I should do that, in fact. But what if instead I uh, used the other purpose for these guys, which is originally these were the only way you could do certain dungeons with NPCs. What if I take my idiot squad and drag them through a bunch of dungeons that are hard when you're dealing with them with people? What if I did that? What if I got my squad? What if I got my squad together? <laughs> and I did that, apparently. Um, let's see. I want to be boosting their independent mastery as well, which is a 
like they get different stats depending on what you're doing with them and I yeah you're the one who needs experience oh wait but you can't she's not high enough she's not high enough level to go into fucking Wanderer's Palace well you'll be you'll be doing a different mission don't worry about it Okay, now let's set up the command mission quick. Let's set up the squadron mission. So you need to send a squad out, right? And some of you aren't level 50 apparently. So. Okay, let's. But if I want to send you two out. Okay, now. To be fair, the tank doesn't really matter because I'm playing tank. Um, you want all of the very different class, so experience will be boosted. That's good. That's what I want. Um, you need everyone to be a different race, which means careless whispers out, and it means. You know what? Fuck it. I don't care because this this is just gonna get. This is what we do. Missions. Uh, I want to get the one that will... Um, uh, disruption. Uh, I'm trying to get... They give you specific items. And I need experience boosting items. Oh, it's a bad idea to do this because they don't have enough stats. Well, let's send them on a different one that they can actually manage. Hold on. Yeah, you can you can manage this one apparently. Uh, what does this one get me? Experience earned by defeating enemies. That's borderline useless. Okay. <laughs> I think it'd be better to do this one, which will get me more crap. I've already got some of these. That's good enough. Go for it, lads. I can only do these once a week and I've wasted it on this. I could also set some others to do this, but then that means I can't do the command mission. And I'm going to do that. So we're off to the Wanderer's Palace. With a bunch of robots. And those robots are all going to be... It has to, so I guess I have to bring you... And I have to bring you... And I have to bring you... And that's a bad mix-up for their abilities, but also that's the only option I currently have. <laughs> Off we go, everybody. This is what I'm doing, apparently. I just... Yeah, I've had a... I think... I think seasonal effective is getting me quite badly, but I wanted to actually do things. Yeah. I like dungeon runs. I am doing this for fun. The problem is that usually you run with them with people, right? They don't bully Tombury. Oh, that. Uh oh, uh. Okay. Disengage, disengage, everyone! Disengage! I remember this dungeon now, and it's the one where you die horribly if you don't. Disengage! That guy isn't beatable! Oh no. Okay, activate the ability where I become invincible, because these fuckers aren't engaging with the right ones. This is. There are, there's orders. They're just not good at their jobs. Oh god, the final boss on this one's gonna be a nightmare. Now, I'm used to playing with people who know what they're doing. The, the NPCs cannot line dance, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, we stay away from the big Tombri. The big Tombri will just straight up, it'll kill you. 
It'll fucking... It'll go... It'll... They... They are sometimes capable of dodging. I say sometimes because I... Uh, it seems to vary depending on whether they've been programmed properly or not. And because sometimes the AI has not been programmed properly for the dungeon. And sometimes they just cope with it fine, honestly. Yeah, I've swapped to the one that heals the attack that heals me more. But... I forgot I put them all in costumes. I forgot I dressed you up like this. And Did you should I ever give you a costume? I mean you, you honestly you're rocking it, but yeah, no, I dressed I actually dressed these up in glams. I forgot. Come on, lads. We're going. <laughs> yeah, they don't... Then The AI is not the best, shall we say, but... It's like, especially with dungeons that are, like, story key, they have generally tweaked them enough to actually be usable. This is not a story essential dungeon, but this dungeon is... This dungeon's an optional one. The fact that they let you use NPCs at all is, a, like, honestly kind of a shock. <laughs> But yeah, I will be going quite slowly through these because if I was playing with people, I could just charge through this shit and the and the uh, and a real human will keep me alive, you see, because they um, know what they're fucking doing. The AI, if I try to do wall to wall assholes, will kill me to death. Unfortunately, it's not too hard. Oh, I got skin. I didn't... I didn't want skin. I did not come here for skin. Hi... Oh. Here he come. <laughs> here he come. Hold on. Actually, oh. oh well, the best thing about this dungeon is actually the uh, ending cutscene, and I usually have those switched off, so I'm going to turn it back on. So I can show you what the ending cutscene of this is like. Once I, you know, don't die horribly trying to get through this. Oh Christ! Oh, that's 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 quite bad. Oh, I took quite a lot of damage there, actually. Um, don't worry, I have an ability that means that if I die, I just stay alive. But. Well, if I activate it. So it's not the end of the world, it's also just like, okay, come on. Quickly, system configuration. Uh, that's, no, stop attacking me, I'm trying to change my settings. <laughs> Lads. Not noticing the danger puzzles properly either today, apparently. Dark Knight's pretty tough. Oh, he's coming. Oh, he's coming. There he is. He's here. Oh, Lord, he's coming. Okay. System configuration. Um, Where is it? Graphics. Play settings. No, it's not in there. Okay. Oh god. Oh, this is this is the most tense options menuing I've ever done. Um. There. Now I will be able to watch the cutscenes with you, everybody. Oh, he 
Oh, he gave up a <laughs> Just had to step outside, huh? Okay, guess, uh, guess that's okay. Okay. Well, time to stab this person instead. Hey, 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 I'm the tank. Look, pay attention to me, Keeper of Haldum. Don't know what that fucking means, but you're my, my boy, right? Lads, you, you do need to attack him. He's, he's bad, lads. He, he, he. Stab the boss, everybody! I, oh wait, they're all ranged up. Toady, <laughs> no, don't you? Don't hurt to Toady. That's rude of you. Yeah, Dark Knight's real fun, it turns out, and also the quest slaps. I'm, uh... I'm glad I didn't stream it, because it would be a Night Metal stream at all, but, like... I also, I can't find any good... I haven't found any good playthroughs of, specifically, that... Um... Thing. The Warlock's Ring? Oh, I'm opening the wrong inventory. Should I just... No, stop it. That's not the button I pressed. No, put your clothes on, ma'am. Uh, these are... Magic? Okay. <sighs> Me making a good playthrough means I'd have to re make a new account, potentially. Um... Uh. Or, if you want to watch... me. You know what, if you all want to watch me do the Dark Knight quest again for fun, like, I can do that today. That would be fun. Um, unfortunately, um, I saw someone try to voice act it, and they uh, had problems with keeping up with the lines, basically. So I think that might actually be the main issue if I wanted to do that. The Tombury Dust effects of Mantle. Okay. I've only done this dungeon once before, actually, now I think about it. Like, it's a damn fun dungeon. Um, I only but I've only played it once on normal and once on the hard variant where you're fighting the The sort of the hard versions of, of dungeons are basically remixes with different stories. They're not really the same dungeon, apart from being in the same place and understandably having similar story elements. That's I'm the I'm the tank over here. Yeah, that's right. If you're gonna stab anyone, stab me, right? See? That wasn't that easy. See what happens when we work as a team, Pombury? Teamwork makes the dream work. I don't really feel that good about killing Tombrys. <laughs> but they're going to try and stab me, so it's like, well, I guess I'm living with that. Yeah, are we good? So you got to look both ways before you cross the road in this one, because uh, there's some big cars around, you know. Ah, good. I've turned off the safety. This will be fine. Oh, yep. Yeah. 
Yeah, notice he's back. The boy is back. No, you're coming over here. We need to explore. Okay, maybe we don't need to explore. Maybe exploring is a bad idea, actually. Um... Oh, Lord. Be coming. He's off in the distance. Okay, he is coming back. Yeah, you, um... Should not fight the big dudes from what I've gathered. I think that'll do uh, what we in the business call getting you killed. There's a device there. He's, oh, oh, look, there he goes. Lads, lads, we need to get a nip on, lads. Step. Do we actually want to come down here? I'm not sure. Oh god, no, we don't want to come down here. That guy's over there. Oh god, he's seen us! He's seen us! He's coming! <laughs> you know, uh, this is. I'm feeling better. Like, even just. Pissing around. Oh. oh no. Okay, lads. We need to take this very carefully. Run, run, disengage, run, disengage. No, do not engage him. Do not engage him. We're, we don't. We don't touch that shit. Come on, lads. Don't fight him. He's too big. He's too large. <laughs> Fellas, he's too big. Okay. Right. We can now re-engage these dudes, though. While I play with an orb. No, I'm playing with an orb! Damn it, lads! You could... I... I... The thing with aggro in this game is eventually enemies lose interest and they just go back to where they, uh... They're supposed to be patrolling, right? That big guy, he's probably heading back here right now. And the only reason that he's not back yet is because he's slow. Yeah, they basically have leashes. Um, that's actually quite a nice way of putting it. Well, it's a slightly horny way of putting it, I guess. But, like... It is... It's fairly accurate, honestly. Um... Ah, there he is. So is there... There's a treasure chest down there that I want. And there's a big dude, so let's... Yeah, as long as I don't overstretch the AI, guys, we're fine. This is very manageable. Leashing. Yeah. Okay, now... I don't know how the aggro works on Tom Breeze. I'm going to just keep my distance. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there's actually some drops I want from this dungeon, which is another reason why I'm willing to come back here. Oh, hi! Army of bugs! It might be that they work on blood aggro, actually, which would be rare, but not impossible. Yeah, Lance Head, Blurim, Morse. Yeah, you see, I just get a load of stuff. Oh, but he is now blocking the stairs, so, um. Yeah, uh. There are certain dungeons that you can literally just run through, right? You can just run past most of the enemies, ignoring them, and, like. They won't. And they'll. Before the, they can catch up with you, they'll be gone, right? I like this mechanic. I'm 
I bet you could beat one of the big dudes if you like played this unsynced. Or, but I'm not willing to test that because I'm a coward. So, yeah. No, 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 don't. I did. I knew the AoEs, they weren't on me. Just keep an eye on the big dudes. Again, don't really know how the aggro is going to work. Um, these guys, um, they will try and. I know. This is one of those things where I do want to kind of learn this at some point potentially because of how uh, the uh, the roguelike esque sections work with aggro. But oh, that didn't open the door. Don't need to get past this dude, huh? Okay, map. Ah, okay, so up there, down this way, that'll get me. Again, only did this once, and I didn't do it as completionist, and also I... Oh, Jesus. Also, I didn't do it with a bunch of robots who don't care about how aggro works, Cecily! You fucking... Cecily! Do you understand how aggro works, you totality? Actually, no, I couldn't be mad at you totality. Look at you and your precious little man. I could definitely make it. Her is on thin ice. Okay. <laughs> okay, so... Oh, hold on. Hold on, did he, did he move? Ah, I wish you could see these guys on the map. It would make it easier. Aha! He's off over here now. Come on, lads. We can manage this. stuff. Some of which seems to be like unique drops for crafting actually. Oh. I might be... Oh Jesus. They just teleport around, huh? Okay. Disengage and run. Disengage and run. Disengage and run. Disengage and run. Oh, thank fuck. Oh. oh. I was worried there. Anyway, time to... Kill the slime monster, I guess. I am doing bad tanking today, it seems like. I'm glad I'm not doing this with people. <laughs> no. You also get in the get in the pile. Okay, slightly worried by the- oh my god! Cecily, I'm paralyzed! You have, like, well, like two or three jobs, but the main one is not letting me die, Cecily. You're not doing the best. I got... Why did a warlock leave their tights in this place? Oh, Jesus. Oh, look at all this crap I've got. Oh. <laughs> I was 
was wondering where all these weird bits and bobs came from, actually. Do I... The question isn't, can I take these guys? It's, do I trust the AI to help me take these guys? And the answer is no, I'm, I'm gonna... Consume? Well, time to eat a marshmallow, I guess. Why, they, why is that marshmallow wet? That's a... Mm, that's a helpful. I mean, they're orbs, Robin. I don't think I've... Look, I can fuck some weird things, but this? I, I ain't fucking that. That's like a Tenger egg. Wait, no, that's... Wait, no, the Tenger egg thing makes it sound like I want to. No. No, it's... It's a sexless orb. The Tombies, on the other hand, if they are capable of consent... Can that be a quotation? Yeah, you can add you can add things to the quotation, don't worry. Um I probably should at some point stop everyone from adding to the quotes, but being that nobody really abuses it, and I think I know how to get rid of them, it's fine. Yeah, this Tombri, like I don't know, maybe I'm just into nine. <laughs> no, it's fucking... You know what it is? It's fucking Nick. It's goddamn Nick's fault. Um, my friend Nick Bad Fan Sub, he'd fuck the Tombri, and as a result, I have been forced to comprehend with a world where people will fuck the Tombri. No matching entry fact. My favourite quo! Oh god, disengage run, disengage run! Thank you for the sub! Anastasia! Garfield, why? I'm gonna... Oh, Christ. The big boys are coming! You can engage again! Also, Garfield isn't the only lord here. In theory. Like, I know a lot of Eldritch Horrors. Most of them lovely. Except... Like, actually, no, I haven't really done a head count. Like, oh Christ, he's still coming! Oh God! Oh no! Oh God, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do about this situation? Grab the lantern oil, grab the lantern oil, grab the lantern oil! Oi! Large boy! Large boy! No, you, you missed the bit of the dungeon where I explained that this dude can fucking murk you! Oh, Christ, oh! Cecily, you're the healer! Disengage! <laughs> this guy's less an enemy and more of a mechanic. Oh, Christ. You can't each hand. Depends on what the Eldritch Being's opinion on it is, to be honest. Like, some. Some of them are multiplicitous in, in the plural way, and some of them aren't. You know, you've just got to ask them. Cecily, don't get stabbed! Cecily! Run! <laughs> okay. We have survived. I think this is the room where the final boss is. Now, Cecily, you know, Ce Cecily, Cecily, you you understand the mechanics, right, Cecily? We've discussed we've discussed them, Cecily, haven't we? Haven't we, Cecily? I'm gonna give her to Toadie Head. You could do no you could never do anything wrong to Toadie. You know what? You get head packs too, Toranga. Pap, pap, pap. It's time. I turn on the cutscenes just for this guy. Look at him go. If I remember correctly, 
The way this boss fight works is... Only kill the Tombri King. I am accompanied by the AI. They don't understand the concept of mercy. I'm just going to try and keep him as far away from the other guys as possible, essentially. Oh, he's used his slow command. I think a lot of my knowledge on this guy comes from somebody attempting to solo him and having a rotten time with it. God, oh lord, they're coming! Okay, come on, lad. Also, Cecily, you can, in fact... Oh, God, they're not engaging because I... Engage? They're not engaging. Because... They weren't... Cecily wasn't healing me because we weren't technically engaged in a fight with the Tombri King. Oh god, no, Taranga's attacking the minions. Okay, leave. Get it. We, we go. We moving. Move away. I've activated the one where he can't kill me. Hear the screams of my fallen brothers, you say? Well, I mean... There's a reason I'm stabbing this dude and not the- th OH CHRIST! Oh! Ah! This is all Cecily's fault. <laughs> Time to start that fight again! Because... Somebody didn't understand the mechanics, Cecily! Hydrate! <laughs> well, if you insist. Yeah, this fight kind of rules, but it's going to be tri tricky with the management of the others. My mechanic is... Trying to get these idiots to only attack this dude. Over here, King! Your madge! Oh god, they're just attacking him. Oh Christ. The rank of his followers, comrades, is flowing into the. Disengage! Oh god, I almost activate. You know what? We're activating the, the limit break. Fuck it. Oh, good Christ. Okay. Oh, no, 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 kill the dude, squad, no, the king. Holy shit! Okay, we managed it. Regicide! Yeah! <laughs>
Uh, oh. oh, it doesn't play the cutscene again. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> Thank you for adding that permitted term. Oh, Jesus. Um, yeah, so... I guess you can't do it, but, like... Usually the Tombries turn on their king and murder him at the end of that dungeon. And I guess, because I'd done it before, we can't see the cutscenes anymore. That sucks. That's sad. That's one of the best cutscenes in the whole game. You can find it all over the place. On the... System configuration that lets me change the cutscenes back on. No, it's character configuration, isn't it? There is a theatre. Um, I may, in fact, go and show you that quick. Um... But I will have to quickly... No, well, I talked to this dude and he's like, Good job, have a tonic. I do not know what... <sighs> Holy shit, that's how you unlock those emotes? Oh, fuck yes, I've been looking... I've wanted these emotes. I didn't realise they were tied to the achievement. <gasps> fuck yes. Oh, that is motivating me to do the rest of these now. Oh shit, hell yeah. I can do... I can do my squats now! Dab! No, that's the wrong... Hold on. I hit the emergency... I hit the emergency BRB button by accident. Uh-oh. I appear to have entered first person mode. I... I didn't know that was a... a hotkey? Sorry, it turns out some of the hotkeys that are mapped to stream stuff are also mapped to the game. This is a bit of a problem with MMO stuff. But yeah, I can do squats and push-ups and breath control. I'm sorry, just the fact that I've unlocked a load of emotes like that is like, I'm... I'm putting a load of these on the fucking bar. Uh... I think... I think at ease isn't so useful. Push-ups going on the bar. Oh god, the leaving of the poses. These are the... Oh my god, they're the emotes that the people around the fucking group do. That's why you unlock them this way. Oh, that's neat. That's rad. I do find the funny squats quite funny. There we go. Might change that later, but look! Now, whenever I feel like doing push-ups, I can do push-ups! <laughs> Here I go! <laughs> this game's stupid, I love it. Um, yeah, um... Let's... Number one, I need to go through my loots. Um, what do you... Ah, you're used to craft... Exactly one knife. Do I want this knife? It is a kind of cool looking knife, but... Oh, it's the Tombri knife! Oh! <laughs> you can make the Tombri knife! Oh, terrific. Um, the question, I'm not going to play Rogue, so I guess really I want to just decent it. I can go back, you know. Not too hard to go grind that dungeon if I need to. Uh, this one, you use it on one specific axe, which is honestly kind of generic looking. 
Just Nightbot, no. Uh, Pimprick Pebble, what do you get used in? Um, oh shit, I need this. Sanguine Scepter's used in the, um, in the, uh, fucking, one of the quests I'm doing. The, um, the artifact, uh, quest. Oh, fuck yeah! Well, that'll save me a bunch of time later. I'll pop that away then. Okay. Um, bloody lance head. What is this one? Apparently it's used on the champion's lance. I guess... I bet these are used on, actually used on a bunch of the uh, relic weapon quests. Have weapons that are based off this, but um, I don't really plan on doing that more than once. So, are Tom Brees actually berries? They're like, they're like, they're boys. They're little, they're they're fun little friend boys. Oh, you can make a bow, which that's an okay looking bow. Again, I think these are for the uh, relic weapon quests. But I don't care. Give me rock. Give me wood. Thank you. Um, the interior extraction. Make sure that's not an issue. Okie dokie. Now, armory chest stuff. I've gained a dark light harpoon. Which I... I think I've already got that in my glamour chest. But if not, I'm putting it in there. Dark light. Oh! <gasps> Oh shit, look at Bill! Oh, that's right, that looks cool, look at that. They got rid of, like, Bill's, um, as a weapon type in the future, but, like, that's probably the best Bill in the game. I'm putting that in my glamour chest. Did I get a funny hat? Apparently not. Did I get a funny torso thing? I think I... Ah, the Warlock's robe. That looks bad. Enter the bin. <laughs> this is how you get item. The Warlock's ring bangs I'm going to put in the chest because that's kind of a fun thing to wear potentially. What are you? These are, they just look like gloves and they're used for everything. Okay, let's try some dye previews to see what they look like dyed. Put your clothes back on, ma'am. Jesus. Oh, it dyes the bit I don't want to be dyed. Okay. Well, get in the bin. Bleh. Shit. That's some good damage material I got out of that, at least. Uh, those are used for crafting recipes later on as well. Warlock's tights are actually pretty good looking. Like, I think those could be useful if you wear if you wanted a pair of tights or leggings on your character. I only useful for magic though, which is a shame. Yeah, no new boots. This is the what we call the boring pit of the stream where Zoe goes through her inventory. Okay, usually I could just go over to the Glamour Dresser here, but because I want to go check out the cutscene thing, I'm going to pop to an inn. What? I'm, I'm a bit worried about your collection of words that are being used here. Uh, oh, oh yeah, uh, inventory. I'm just going to pop the Battlecraft and Materia in my Chocobo bag, because that's where things that are going in long-term storage go, generally speaking. Yeah. Hold on, how many, uh... Okay, I don't have, uh, 50 of those rocks yet. If you get it, I think I'm... There's some things I wouldn't... Did you redeem Garfield in the Doctor Who wiki? I don't think you did. I don't know if Garfield exists in the Doctor Who universe. Um... I feel like... Thanks, buddy. Hey, repair my stuff quick. I'm gonna... I need to enter the, um... Now, another benefit of the in-room is that I can play any, uh... Any orchestral role that I want in there. That I've unlocked. 
So I can play whatever music I want while we read about fucking Garfield in the Doctor Who universe. Apparently. Jesus wept. Um, get in there, Bill. Do I already know? I don't have the Dark Life in there. Hey, you go then. Walks shrimp and in you go. Warlock's tight, in you go. Okay, so it's head and body, so it's the uh Diamond's brushpick is striking. Ah look, I'll pop it in there, but Wait a minute, it's just the The same one as this! Oh for Pete's sakes. <sighs> okay, because uh, I can, in theory, use the unending story to replay cutscenes. But first, we have to look at Garfield on the Doctor Who wiki, apparently. But I'm going to choose some music quick. Um, what's... hmm. Because we could do, like, these musics. All these sort of story background ambience or we could play this sort of thing where it's a fucking epic raid music i think we're playing torn from the heavens while we read about garfield the doctor who universe this is the garfieldiest music in time and space i think but um if any of you know any orchestral roles that are more Garfieldy, just I guess hit me up. I I don't fucking know, man. Garfield. Well, fandom is off to a fantastic start already because <laughs> right here on the fucking page. Is the Garfield wiki being advertised? There's... Okay, there are a few things here. Looks like some additional Garfields for a thing. Andrew Garfield played Frank in the Doc 2 stories Dark in Manhattan's... Oh my god, I forgot that Andrew Garfield was in that! I forgot that Laszlo was fucking Andrew Garfield! I'm... <laughs> I forgot it was he was in fucking That's Andrew fucking Garfield! I forgot <laughs> Anyway, yeah, so we're clearly getting to actors beyond this point, but um there's a few other Garfield related ones, but let's go for the obvious intended one. Garfield was a comic strip. In 1981, Perry Brown read the Garfield cartoons which are posted on Bob Salmon's door, according to Pro's Blue Box. Ah, on the past Doctor Adventures, interesting. Um, in 1997, Sarah Jane Smith looked for a magazine which had a Garfield strip while waiting in Pym's shipping reception area, according to Pro's Bullet Time. It's another Wilderness Years one, of course it is. When the 12th Doctor was in the prison, he found I Hate Mondays by Garfield in the library made of unwanted ballast books from Old Earth. He took the book and quipped, always got to love a book by a cat. This is in... A modern Doctor Who novel. <laughs> Hold on. Was a book. He exists in the prison library. When a fire occurred, the book was sucked off the asteroid by the vacuum broncos and shot into- Garfield! Garfield, no! <laughs> He's fucking dead! <laughs> that could be a real book, I'm not sure. Behind the scenes. Bill Murray voiced- huh? Bill Murray voiced Garfield in the two live-action films released in 2004 and 2006. The first film also featured the voice of Alan Cumming, while the second film also featured Richard E. Grant among the voice cast, while Lucy Davis and Jane Carr appeared in live-action roles. Frank Weller voiced Garfield in various media from 2007 to 2009. Yeah. 
that's the thing. The Doctor Who wiki kind of writes about everything in past tense because, relatively speaking, the end of the universe has happened in the Doctor Who universe, right? There is an end of time, right? So, like, I guess technically everything is in past tense. Like, okay, let's open up Perry Brown. She was a companion of the fifth and sixth Doctors. And apparently a second temporary account of the second Doctor because of the two Doctors, right? Now... They don't change... But okay. Why is Bill Murray... We're going to... Why does Bill Murray... Okay. When Ace and Hex found themselves taught in a time loop and protect and survive, which is a damn good story, by the way. Um, damn good audio story. Um, bit rough, but... Hex compare the situation to the one Murray's character face in that film. So, apparently Groundhog Day was released in 1994 according to Touchline A. Lunchall. Bill Murray has a page on the Doctor Who wiki because he in theory exists within the universe because Groundhog Day exists in the universe. So that's why that Bill Murray voicing Garfield is relevant the first that's just the actual wiki page alan cumming he played king james the first in the witch finders he's bisexual okay thank you didn't know alan cumming was bisexual you'd think i would have realized um well the second film that's also wiki featured richard e grant who is only notable if you know that he played the tenth doctor in the Face will death, and an animated version of the Night Doctor in Scream for the Shulka. And also the Great Intelligence. Or some shit. I don't know. He played an alternative Ninth Doctor and Tenth Doctor. Like, that's way more important than being fucking one of the fucking Eldritch Horror villains, clearly. Um, Lucy Davis and Jane Carr were apparently in the second Garfield film. She was in. She voiced Helen in a. Torchwood audio story and nothing else. One of your friends is named on the Doctor Who wiki? They would be. I think my dad's on here. Fucking. <laughs> Jane Carr voiced the computer in the Doctor Who audio story Slip Back and nothing else. Okay. Very notable. Um, <laughs> Frank Welker is a prolific voice actor who voices very characters in Lego Dimensions, which is another Doctor Who property, I guess, and various other related media, including playing Scooby Doo and Slimer and Stay Puffed. So, so Frank Welker. Now, don't worry. Don't get me wrong. That's a legendary voice actor right there, right? Dude, dude's like pretty prolific. He's played some very iconic characters. Why the fuck is he in the behind the scenes section on Garfield on the Doctor Who wiki? What does he? He's Frank Welker has not played a Doctor Who character. He has merely existed within a crossover title. With Doctor Who in the fucking. Thank you for the redeem. I'm hoping you. I hope you appreciated it. I hope you appreciate what I do for you. <laughs> Save it, Garfield. <laughs> you know, it's just all. Anyway, let's see if the Undying Journey actually works like I think it does. Okay, so if I do... Okay, so side quests. Class and job quests, here we go. So, hold on. So I could replay the cutscenes from... Dick. 
Uh, more job quests. Oh, it also flags if something's um quest progression. Uh, some things are actually affected, like minorly by dialogue stuff, right? So yeah, you can in fact um just like. Rewatch things like that, right? Hold on, side quests. Uh, story quests. No, that's preserving the future. Okay, it's nice that I know I can replay stuff like that. Okay, like. I can like Hildebrand. I can replay all the Hildebrand, including the one that reflects whether I've met. God, but Mandeville already. Bear in mind, these are going to require a lot of reading. But I, yeah, I don't seem to be able to find the, uh, the done corpse groom stuff. Into all da. Nothing, no. Cardanian, no. Vincent. I'm annoyed because I can't replay the one I want to, or I can't, at least I can't find the ruddy thing, right? Was it an Astro era? No. Interesting that this one has, um... Oh, wait, because of the Dragoon stuff being reflected. Yeah, you can sort of see. I've got a new era. Hold on. Yeah, you can see things I haven't done anywhere close to yet. Uh, the Hamlet stuff, the Crystal Tower stuff. Primals, no, none of those are things I need. Yeah, damn, just because, I guess because it's just like a... Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. There, here we are. Here we are. Uh, Wanderer's Palace. Decades of kobold mighting deep through Ogamora gradually weakened Upper Lenossia to the point where the calamity struck. The land surrounding Bronze Lake collapsed, treading its waters and revealing a palace of unparalleled abuse. Though thought to have been built by the Nimian civilization which thrived in the area some 15 centuries ago, the palace appears to have been dedicated to the patron to Oshon, the Wanderer. In search of the bounty, she may hold treasure hunters have been able to trail in this forsaken place. Will treasure be the only thing they find? I want to test this out. Hello, Bunker Gent. Okay, so if I press play, let's see what cutscene plays. I'm testing this. Ah, so here's like the intro cutscene to the dungeon. Mm. Should you say Koopo? Uh, that's up to you, really. But yeah, you do get these nice little intro cutscenes when you have a new dungeon, and they are kind of like you're doing drone footage. Is there a move? Oh! Okay, yeah, so you can in fact play them back. So let's see what other cutscene there is. Is this... Yeah, this is just the boss intro cutscene that you guys got to see already. But let's show you it anyway. I, it's nice! I've, it's nice to realise I can rewatch these properly. There he is! I stabbed this man to death already. So it is a bit weird and jarring to not have things happen afterwards, but yeah. Here goes the cutscene, as it should have been. Please, we show the cutscene properly this time. Oh, oh no, it's the hard mode version of the dungeon I'm thinking of. Oh, I'm a dumbass. Okay, so, um... I was thinking of this cutscene. Koopa does not activate my rage. I'm calm and happy and happy and calm. Oh yeah, I killed this dude. This time I'm helping out the moon, but... Hey, that 
It's time to go hurrah! Victory. <laughs> One of the bits... Where... Oh yeah, no, you're, you're perfectly fine to drop things in the Discord. That's what the Discord's there for. Um, I mean, I don't... I don't know what channel it would go in, but yeah. Victory. <laughs> One of the best cuts in the entire game. Sad thing you miss out on when you replay the cutscene is the other players in the background looking like, oh god. Yeah, turns out I can replay most of... I could actually replay the Dark Knight quests, I believe. Hold on, if I go to Disciple of War, yeah. I could replay all the... I could play this again, I think. Yeah, I don't. I don't think. I don't think it'll let me play back all of the bits without me doing the uh, the new game plus stuff, basically. Which oh shit! I opened up. I activated Donkey Kong. Can we, can we on activate Donkey Kong, please. Thank you. Um. <laughs> so I'm not going to do that. Shame, but uh. But it's nice to know these features are here. I'm fairly sure there is a more comprehensive new game plus system. Hold on. Where is it? It's under... it's somewhere under here. Duty. New Game Plus. Yes. You can, in fact, do in a similar way. Just go, I want to replay this chunk of the thing, right? I want to do my tank quest again. I want to replay Dark Knight. Yeah, you can just restart it. And play it again. So if you are really interested in seeing any of these story of mine... Lines, you can. Oh, thank you, Puckerton. Um... I like when art exists. <laughs> That's a fucking sentence I said with my mouth. But yeah, um... But it's like, um... What's the word, what's the word, what's the word? Yeah. The 14's a very fun game, but, um... Bearing in mind I'm playing it because I feel so sad that... I'm... Sorry, what do you mean you're a rising vendor? What are you selling? Oh, yeah, that's where you buy those from. Oh, I'm, a, I'm being a dungus. Oh, shit, you can buy some. Oh. Oh, I forgot you could buy this stuff. You know, I'm a bit high on my cash. Let's, um... Activate, accidentally activate, um, fucking that guy and buy some, and buy some booze. I can pop bottles now. Just gonna pop my ability to pop bottles in here. No, not you. <laughs> because I'm trying to use some of these, but you get a certain, like, fireworks and stuff. The <laughs> Wounded Five with Lalafell. Yeah! Look, I'm playing as a Lalafell because it means that I can dress like an Edgelord and not be. And people won't think I'm actually being serious about that. I think is probably the, the way I see it. Yeah, um, I'm on the free trial, so I can't get past 60. But um, just in case you were wondering if that stopped me. It, it kind of didn't. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six level 60s and one level 53 which I'm leveling because I don't want to waste the experience by playing at level 60 on the fucking story missions that are lo worth a load of experience. I have problems finishing the base main quest and just burn out. Yeah, that makes sense. If you try to just burn through that quest, it will burn you out. Ooh, Pharah's Sirius is a fun one. Hey, let's go to Pharah's Sirius then. This is a cool looking dungeon. And apparently a lot of people have missed it because um, they just didn't do it. They just they just didn't want to do some of the optional dungeons, which is fine. But this place is cool. Number one, the music fucking slaps. This is one of the few dungeons from like the level 50-ish zone where they went. Let's actually make music for this. 
Did you just not get hit by me, lads? I'm the tank leech! I guess I should re-enable the cutscenes, actually. Um, yeah, this lighthouse has been taken over by a siren, essentially. Is the idea. Like... And she basically, even in death, uh, the soldiers who, and such who have been taken in by her are still following her. Like, so you've got these zombie sailors that are just like still under a siren spell, ruining this lighthouse with like massive amounts of crystal in it. And like, you'll see what it's like, like as I get higher up, but like, it's pretty. But unfortunately, we will have to deal with the fact that um, Toto, Toto, and Cecily are uh, not good at their jobs. The bot squad needs needs to get good, basically. Yeah, um, I have promised myself when playing this that I would not do things that I was not planning on. Like, I've already fallen into the trap of enjoying an MMO, so now I have to be very careful with that stuff. Um, I think it's more of a problem that I am enjoying a lot of stuff that I maybe should be taking slower, rather than it being a problem of, um... oh shit, yeah. When I mentioned the zombie sailors, here they are. Say hello to, um, I'm going to look at them now. They're covered in fucking crystals and shit. They're like, no, we're not going to do boring zombies. Let's fucking make them covered in rocks. Look at this dude. So yeah, um... Oh god, you'll have also only just got through the, um... I'm not sure how... If you're in, like, the mid... If you're in the 50s, you might... You've probably got past the Realm Reborn and onto the, um... The real schlog of the, um, post Realm Reborn quests, where they're but They were basically buying time while they finished Heavensward, if I remember correctly. Um... Welcome to the lighthouse. Hey lads, upsies. Said upsies, come on over here. Oh, come on lads, come on lads. Oh, this one's got a goo boy. Yeah, recuperating its worst elements. Sort of. I mean, yeah. Now everyone kind of knows that this MMO has its own sort of like redemption story fucking thing going on, right? It kind of parallels how the game itself is, which does benefit the narrative, but like, the narrative around Final Fantasy XIV is very much that, you know, it was a terrible game, and they dumped it off on somebody, and then it became a good game over time. I have not technically even reached the bit of the game that a lot of people consider to be the good version of Final Fantasy XIV yet. I'm still in Heaven's Sword, and I've got some damn good stuff, but it's like, no, no, no. Fight me, lads. I'm the one you're fighting, lads. Yeah, um... First fairies? I don't know what that means. So probably not. Um, I mean, I'm currently on, kind of on route to the bit where you unlock a Moogle. Um. Oh god, no! You know what? That's. I popped my I can't die nerd. Walking Dead activated!
Hell yeah, that's one of the first times I pulled off a Walking Dead. Oh my Christ, are you kidding me? Pop the... I even popped the thing that's supposed to stop the knockback and they still knock me back. Oh god, I might not know the mechanics on this fight. Actually, now that I think about it, oh Christ, okay, don't die. Step one in life is not dying. Fuck. It's not right for King... Oh, King Moogleblog's a fun fight. I mean, admittedly, um, when do you think the M60? What happens if you've upgraded the non-free part? I'm fairly sure you can't go back to free. I have not tested this, and I don't want to. But I think once you are a paid account, you can't do the free trial. So I, this is part of why I am going to be doing as much as possible on the um, on the free trial. But that's kind of like standard, right? Like... I don't... Maybe... I mean, you could still just make another free trial account and if you really wanted to have that, but you would have to make two characters for that, I guess. Which is not really in the spirit of a game where you can change classes whenever you feel like it. Hey, you got to yell at things down, don't you? Okay, let's... Okay, this time, lad, um, can we come over here, please? Because... Set over over here, Sigmund. I'm gonna try and keep you outside of the the uh, the bit which everyone seems to die in. That's okay with you, buddy. Oh yeah, I am definitely getting hit by mechanics that I am not predicting properly. You think I spoke too soon when I said I like this dungeon? Ah, oh, cripes. It's fine. You have to try a lot harder to kill me, Sigmund. Like, li literally, I think that's like how my class works. Come on. Oh god, okay, I am running low mitigation. Yeah. Oh yeah, like... I will say, this is one of the best free trials available in a lot of games. Like, there are some games which are smaller than the free trial. This game on release was smaller than this game in the free trial, in fact. But that doesn't mean it isn't a free trial. Like, I've got my gold. My gill is capped at a way lower amount than most people. Uh, you can't use the market board. Most of them are things like direct messaging people, where it's like, I get why you would make that a paid thing. Right? Yeah, oh, good to know. Thank you, Silver. Your sacrifice will be remembered. Probably. Um, someone will remember it, I'm sure. Yeah, just kill him. Yeah. Oh yeah, no. Um, this is part of why I am drawing out the thing. Is because the free trial is extending soon. Right? Not that far in the future, they are going to make the free trial uh, longer, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I will say, pay for this game if you're going to pay for a game like this. Pay for it when you want to. Pay for it when you're like, even if I was given a free trial of this tomorrow, I'd still pay for it, right? Because otherwise, that will. Probably kick you in the ass. 
Oh Christ, I'll hold on, my fucking up. Hold on, if I keep... Oh, stop it. Oh God, run! Jesus, Jesus, no! Gonna try and keep DPS on this dude. Oh Christ! Oh God! Yeah, the bots can't cope with this fight, can they? <laughs> it's like, yeah. Um, I am literally waiting for. They're going to add the expansion, uh, an additional expansion after the one I'm doing, I believe. And you know what? I think I can probably put off completing, I can do endgame Heavensward stuff until that version comes out. And then eventually, when I feel like, yes, I am willing to pay money for this, I will. But I'm a stubborn bitch and I will avoid giving Square Enix money for as long as I can. I, this is a fantastic game. I love it a lot. Square Enix bad. <laughs> <laughs> Don't like them. <laughs> yeah, I also do really appreciate that, like... This game feels like it was made by people who knew what sucked about other MMOs. Honestly. Of this style, at least. Like, um... Okay, so I think the zombie dogs are a different mechanic. I'm not quite understanding. Okay, living dead. Damn. I have to be real careful with my mitigation because I am needing to spread out more. And I think I really might need to just ignore these dogs, right? Like the AI have got that, right? I think I think I think Cecily's got this. You know? Why wouldn't I trust Cecily? God damn it, the dogs are out. Cecily, why aren't you being the green tank? Arms playing, I guess. Oh, Christ, I am not surviving this dude's bullshit much longer, am I? Oh. Holy shit. That was harder than it needed to be, really. <laughs> Unable to obtain the ring because I already have one. Well, I mean, if I've already got the ring, I guess I can just let's go through my inventory quick. Where is it? The demagogue ring, did you say? I do, in fact, have this. I no longer have it. Uh oh. Wait, wait, hold on. Hold on, the chest vanished, didn't it? Oh, I'm a. Well, now no one has a demagogue ring. This is your fault somehow, Cecily. <laughs> she fucking. T <laughs> wait, is this the. Oh, this is down. We're going up, Cecily. God. Should have told me. I can Cecily. I never make it anywhere in this world like this. Yep, here comes the bit where rocks drop from the ceiling and everybody dies.
yeah, I'm even going to be able to cope with the next boss fight. Yeah, these rocks are bad for your health. Yeah, you get a lot of cool crystals stuff here. It very much feels like, yeah, this 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 lighthouse got fucked up. Oh my god, are you not engaged? Lads, you, you're allowed to help with fight now. I If I was disin I had them disengaged for this entire that entire boss fight, I'm gonna piss. <laughs> Rocks drop. Fellas, you do, you do. Lads, you do understand that you don't need to stand right next to the fucking rock, right? Like, you can... I gotta stand here because of the fucking... Wait, Square Enix went after Moogle? That sucks. I mean, I get... I... I get why they would, but it sucks. You know. Like, I... Bear in mind that my YouTube brand used to be derivative of um, another brand, so I, I'm of the feeling that I would never want to just be like, I'm just thinking like, there's people who are like, oh my name's Luigi the God and I'm just a Luigi guy, and it's like, number one you've committed plagiarism and I still haven't forgotten about that Luigi, number two. <laughs> Why would you want to just be permanently tied to something that's not yours, right? So on, so I kind of like have a... I struggle a bit more to sympathise than I really should. I think it's... I do think that they shouldn't be suing people who are doing like their OC Google, really. But on the other hand, I get it because business shit, right? Like... They're a corporation, if they don't protect their copyright, other people might be able to make an argument that they don't own it. These whole trademark things, and it's also... I feel like Japanese companies are just generally less understanding of, like, Western VTuber and, like, YouTube culture. Like, remember how long Nintendo took to not be the absolute worst about everything? Involving Let's Plays, it was, it's, it's a lot, and I think suing is like, just send it a cease and desist, like, come on. I do think that's excessive. I don't want to come across as defending Square Enix, because I'm not. That sucks. Yeah, and, uh, Japanese, I don't even understand Japanese copyright at all, actually. It might be way different. So apologies if I've said something ignorant there, while trying not to be murdered by giant rocks. <laughs> Look, I'm... <laughs> but I do feel that it's... Look, I love things that some corporations have made. Well, no, I, ha I don't actually. I love the thing that people working for corporations have made. The reason I like this game so much is because a bunch of passionate people actually made a good game because the corporation fucked up so bad with the original version that that they just let them do whatever they wanted because it was like what are you gonna do? Fuck this up worse? <laughs> and now the company only basically keeps going because that particular studio keeps doing a good job. <laughs> Jesus Square Enix is bad at being a corporation. <laughs> It's also just like... I understand the capitalist hellscape we exist in. Don't want to be like... I like being correct. Nine times eight, it's the, yeah, it's the higher-ups. The debt, jet, like... 
I genuinely, like, I don't think that anyone necessarily working on this game is perfect. I've heard that there are some things in this game that I don't like. And that I would like to be, like, done better. Right? Um, I'm still, I hate that the, uh, quote-unquote beast tribes are called beast tribes because, like, that kind of comes up, gets away from the message of those beast tribes, which is that they're just fucking people with different cultures and you really shouldn't be shitty like that. But they're also still called beast tribes the entire time. So... <laughs> yeah. But it's like, most of the time... Individual people are not the problem, it is the issue of... Yeah, Arya's, Arya's right, like... I don't want to come... Yeah. It's like, yeah. I do think... Although I do have a bit of the autism brain which makes it harder for me to, to express these opinions sometimes. Like... You know, I've... I have in the past, I have gotten better about this now, but in the past I was very avoidant of negative criticism of things I liked, regardless of how justified that criticism was. And I... Because it upset me, right? And I didn't want to deal with that upset. And it's like, I want to be better about that, because criticism is a useful tool. I don't think that acting like someone mildly criticising a thing you like is the end of the world is a good attitude to have with. But also, it's like... I still... I get it, still. I'm, I get attached to things and then it feels bad because it's like... I feel like people are being mean on my thing I like sometimes. But I, I'm trying to fight those brain ones because, like, that's not what people are doing. Oh god, is it? Okay, hold on, let's... I'll drop the master volume in a second. Unfortunately, the combat noises are just way louder than... Yeah. There's also, it is worth saying that, yeah, there are people who, who are just acting like dicks, right? Well, let's... Just drop the master volume a few points. Yeah, it may well be the explosions. I'm... Look, it's streaming. Audio balancing is a nightmare. There's no way around it. <laughs> Thank you, Arya. Oh! I already have the, the fucking choker again, huh? I already have that, huh? I already have that, huh? Oh, get the stress out. Get the stress out. Get the stress out. Maybe this was a bad idea, in fact. Oh, it's you lads. Okay, you're back from the dead again. Over here, come on lads, come on lads. It feels really quiet now I've lowered the volume. I might have to fiddle the, the volume settings even more because, like, the problem is that uh, some of the sound effects are, like, uh, tells for things. I've heard, apparently, that, um, that, uh, hold on, I, I've just turned up my own headphones. Hold on, that'll do it. That doesn't affect your audio. Sorry. But it's like, yeah, like, um... I do need to be able to hear some of the... Well, not need, but... It is beneficial if I can hear, for example, the noise that happens when Limit Break becomes available. Stuff like that. Come on, lads. Oh my god! <laughs> Sorry, the big bird took me by surprise. Giant flash on screen. I... I... Maybe this game I've heard is pretty decently accessible as MMOs go because you can tweak the uh, UI so much, as you may have noticed by my hell that I've created. 
in the bottom right corner at all times. <laughs> But like, I, and I bet there is an option like that, but I don't use it because I don't want to have to deal with it. Because um, if I just quickly demonstrate what the uh, HUD layout options look like. Uh, there's a lot of shit on screen, you know? It's quite a lot. Yeah. Yeah, WoW has a sort of... This game sort of takes the opposite approach on... Um, on accessibility in regards to mods. In the... I think that they saw how mods affected Final Fantasy's metagame. And as a result, they didn't want to... Uh, what's the word? I think they've, made, they've got a quite strict no mods policy which you can totally ignore, to be fair. Um, like, if you don't advertise that you're using mods, generally speaking, Squeenix don't give a fuck, right? Oh god, I think this boss is like... Oh. I think you're not supposed to attack this thing's kids. Stop bothering me. It's coming enraged. Okay, can we drop the limit break? Oh, Christ. Yeah. Basically, the... Oh, sorry. Which thing is negative? Oh. Yeah. Um, Silver's saying the same point I was. WoW modding caused so many problems... But with like how the culture of the game played out, but basically uh, Final Fantasy fourteen went no mods, don't do that. And on the plus, they do on the other hand and put actually make efficient supported versions of popular mod stuff before banning that mod, usually because of course they can't really make an official version of the mod that gives you a her off guard penis the size of your head. Your head. But like they're generally like they they generally seem to be compensating for the no mods thing by actually making the game itself better and having everyone be on an even footing. I feel like this game has learned from a lot of World of Warcraft's major cultural issues in a way that's like very good. It makes it a very fun experience to play. It doesn't feel like miserable. Panda, I don't want to talk about the Lala sausage on stream. <laughs> Please don't. Please don't talk about <laughs> oh, no, Sorry, I need a breather. Oh, holy shit. Oh, shit. I, look, okay, I think, okay, I've wasted my fucking, okay, I, again, I only vaguely remember some of the mechanics of this, and I'm going to fuck it up, aren't I? Okay, I think, ignore the eggs. But the problem with that is, the AI have minds of their own. Or maybe I'm supposed to destroy the eggs before they hatch? I genuinely can't remember the uh, mechanic. But yeah. Basically, I think how we're dealing with this is focus down the, um, the big bird.
I think with a bit of teamwork and a bit of me just being completely fucking reckless with my, the fact that I can't die, I might be able to manage this. Oh Christ, oh Christ, I am on literally one HP. Okay, okay. Holy shit. Holy shit. Okay. No, that's the... Holy shit. I'm gonna drink my snacks quick. I'm just gonna quickly drink some mineral water. Everything wrong with that fight was your fault, Cecily, and to Toadie, you are innocent as always. Um... Oops. Oh, the rose gold nugget. Okay, let's, um... Sorry, inventory management shit. And not... There we go. I haven't got to do a lot of level 50 dungeons for a while because I've been uh, not using them for leveling or grinding or anything. So it's actually nice to, to do these. The love. <laughs> what? <laughs> don't, you don't want to know. You don't want to know about the Lala Fell Sausage. It's... That's, that's not what we're here for. <laughs> Please do not be horny for the child-looking ones. It's they're they're legally adults, but I'm I'm not comfortable with it. Hold on, is this actually working? Close the valve. Close the valve. Can we can we close the valve, please? Yeah, Lalafell stuff, it's like, I think it's kind of a cultural difference why they are more acceptable in Japan. But do not be horny for the Lalafell near me. I will ban you. <laughs> that's, 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 that's a no, Chief. Unfortunately, I trust all of you to not be, um, you know, that sort of criminal. So, <laughs> we're probably fine. Oh, Christ. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm having some... Panda? <laughs> Panda? <laughs> A fine line is being teased here. New bit, Panda! It does seem that the uh, puddings are exploding into smaller puddings. Yeah, like, that's a, a crime I can't encourage on Twitch.tv. Awesome. Okay. Time to kill this thing. Does this have mechanics? Probably. Let's ignore them, because we're the AI. Lala Fell you see just give up all the beast so hard. But I don't think that's what happened in this universe, but like I mean, correct. If it was what had happened in this universe, correct. I think this is one of those boss fights where it's like Yet again more about just managing the ads than it is the fight itself. Holy sh! This thing's going down so fast. I, I feel like I'm cheating after the previous two bosses. Like, that shouldn't have been that easy. That that. <laughs> I just chat. <laughs> the 
tyrant was weak, I guess. I mean... Okay, we are about to fight the actual final boss of this floor, though, so... You know. You wanna fight a siren? This lady gonna keep singing for the entire fight. And I am not gonna be reading out her lines because fuck that shit, honestly. Also engage, just in case you all forgot. She is going to be one of the... Okay, yeah, make sure the zombies come and get me and not the others and we're good. Yet again, I don't actually remember what the mechanics are in this fight. I mean, generally mechanics are relatively self-explanatory enough that I'm not going to have too much problems. But this is before... This is technically before they universalised how uh, danger markers work. So... Oh, I heard the noise. That means that it's time... Oh Christ, why am I... Oh, I am having some healing problems. Arms length, drop some protection, oh. Oh, she's gonna do dash attacks, I guess? Okay, no, one dash attack. Terrific. Um, Ma'am, if you wouldn't mind dying, that would really help my, my cause. I'm a... I'm a small streamer. I'd like to... You know what? Fuck it. Drop the limit break. <laughs> Come on, squad. Stab a woman. Yeah! <laughs> do, 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 do. Good job, everyone except Cecily. Lack of weak aura means you can set limit break noise to the Wilhelm stream. Oh, oh, that sucks. Yeah. Ge genuinely, that sucks. I actually would like it if you could customize the noises. Although, at the same time, I would make the argument that having seen footage of World of Warcraft where the fart noise is the danger notification, that maybe having a good noise to begin with is a better general policy <laughs> than whatever the fuck that is. Um, you can do artistic crimes in Warcraft, yeah. Which, now, I do appreciate the good artistic crime now and again, but also I am in myself somewhat of an artist, so I understand the desire to prevent artistic crimes from happening. If you are, say, the person making it. Making the game. Holy shit, that's a lot of fan I'm getting so much demi materia. Holy crap. Okay, let's do it this way again. Noble jacket, you look like garbage. Desynthesis. Turn into nice rocks for me, lads. Thank you. And most of these were earrings, I think, if I remember correctly. But I'm going to sort things so I can remember what order everything's in when I get back later. Hold on. Make sure there's not a hole in this. There we go. There are better quality of life options here, but like because of my limited inventory space, I can't really afford to have the um, items drop into the... Uh, chest by default, as is probably the better way of doing things. Ah! 
shorts that make it look like I've pissed myself. Be gone. <laughs> Ten place with an artistic place. Look, I'm... <laughs> I, there's no, there's no, there's no way out of this conversation that's good. I think. I think we've reached the point where the conversation is just never going to be good again. I think. <laughs> I think we've done. Hey, okay, uh, yeah, earrings just go straight into the synth pile. Yep. So I guess this is probably how most people gather the uh, materials for the late grain crafting stuff that I cannot currently do because my crafting classes aren't that high, but you know. The ring. The synthesis. I think they got it. <laughs> Me during a political <laughs> argument. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, yep, yeah, and also I'm getting the um the other fancy rocks. Oh, but you know. And now I put all these rocks in the rock box. Look at my rock collection. It's extensive at this point. Well, oh, let me just annoyingly sort doesn't the sort function's a little funky in this, I find. So I, if I want to do it like that, I have to then do this quickly to put all of my rocks back in the rocks collection. Yeah. Look at my collection of fancy rocks. I'm going to use them to make a stick later. Um, also, let's just... I think I got a new enlistment paper while I was out there. Oh, you're a man. Dismissed. Okay. <laughs> Let's have a nice sit down. Let's have a sip of your drink. Break everyone. <sighs> See? Lovely drink. Now, Zozoel, what do you think about doing more dungeons? I think, I think this is a, oh wait, shit, we actually do need to collect the experience afterwards every time as well. I forgot about that. Uh, challenge entry log, mastering commander is almost complete, apparently, okay. Hold on. Actually, what are the achievements? All three sets of grand company chocobo barding seems just slow annoying. Um. 100 successful assignments. Um, okay, yeah, these are only worth achievement points, so I don't... Wait, except if they're tied to emotes. I thought there was no reward for the previous one, but that had a reward. Maybe there's more emotes that I can do as well. Maybe once I get 100 special command missions, I'll get more stuff. Yeah. Look, I'll Google it later, but honestly, I think it'll be fun to just do a few more of these. But um, rather than doing Wanderer's Palace hard, I think I'm going to go... I think I'm going to do Brave Fox's Long Stop next, because this is one of my favourite hard mode dungeons. Brave Fox is my friend. She's, she's a good... Fr she's a friend. Friend-shaped. She's shaped like a friend. This is why we're doing Brave Fox's long stop. Don't question it. Never question it. Don't worry about it. Time to fight the um the Goblin Illuminati, which is another of those choices where I'm like, now I know you probably didn't intend for this to be a thing, but that's the little sus. <laughs> That you made the goblins the Illuminati. <laughs> Admittedly, 
the Goblin Illuminati seem to be mostly concerned with cheese recipes. This whole raid... This whole raid is based on the fact that Brayflox quit the... I think the idea is that Brayflox quit the Illuminati, which, other than the name, is mostly a fine enough thing. It's just a, you know, evil organisation. It isn't much else. But they seem to have... Um, basically, they want to keep their patents to themselves. So they're very upset that Brayflox is giving their cheese recipe to other people. I want you to keep this in mind as I go through this dungeon. All of this is for a cheese recipe. <laughs> This was Brayflox's holiday home, which is, you know, it's Brayflox's long stop. It's a long stop. It's a holiday home. Because goblins speak funny. Well, they, I say funny. Uh, each uh, each uh, beast tribe species, I'm not sure if goblins count, technically, but generally speaking, the various species of Aeosia who are capable of speech will have unique ways of talking. No, no, stop it. Fighting me, Illuminati soldier. But yeah, this is, um... This is Brayflox's holiday home. Her long stop. Because that's how... That's... Because goblins are very verbose, but not necessarily in the... Jerry Illuminati. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It's like... Like a lot of anti-Semitic conspiracy theories. If you realise that blaming Jewish people is the wrong thing about it, and that capitalism is really... Like, a lot of these people have an emotional truth, which is the world is wrong for some reason. But they won't... What They don't want to accept that the answer is capitalism. So they will instead blame a nebulous other, uh, which is usually Jewish people or aliens, which are a metaphor for Jewish people in most of the conspiracy theories. Thanks, anti-Semites. You've ruined a perfectly fun thing that people could be enjoying because it's silly. Thanks, lads. Love that. I want to have a funny laugh about how people are like haha the lizard people. But when you realize that the lizard people are just an emotional metaphor for fucking Jewish people, it's like this isn't fun anymore. This is just miserable. <laughs> Fuck you conspiracy theorists. Be less racist. God. Oh yeah, like real companies would do that sort of shit though is the thing. Again, the problem isn't a nebulous other. It's actual real-life companies that are doing corporate espionage. I feel this is important to say. The only real-life, and to be fair, real-life capitalism is less of a conspiracy theory where they're hiding what they're doing, and more just like, this is just how capitalism openly acts, and regardless of intention, it has the same effects in the end. I don't think that a load of capitalist people are like, ha ha ha, I'm gonna make the world worse on purpose. I think they are convinced this is the correct way to do things, and they are just wrong. But because of the financial incentives, they are not gonna change that. Maybe there are some people who have, have realised the world is fucked and have decided to just side with, the, um, with that anyway. I don't want to assume malice, but there's possibly some natural people with malice out there, right? But for the most part, it doesn't really matter if someone is deliberately doing this shit. It's just bad anyway. And I'm sure dairy... Oh, to be fair, the dairy industry... I'm, tr I'm gonna try and word this carefully, because I am midway through a thing, right? Advertisements are technically propaganda, right? I can't mention that a lot of them uh, just do it anyway, because they, yeah. The th again, the motivation doesn't really matter when the end result is the same. 
with these sorts of things. But I'm gonna, I was just gonna say, the dairy industry has employed propaganda to make people want to drink milk, right? Like, the Got Milk ads? That's the dairy industry advertising milk so more people buy milk. That's propaganda to support milk industry stuff, right? You also get a lot of, like, corporate, um, like, subsidies for certain meats. Um, I've heard from my girlfriend in her country, uh, chicken is heavily subsidised. And as a result, the, um, the chicken industry is, the chicken is the food that people eat when they aren't so well off, generally speaking. Yeah, okay, so the sniper thing is like, if somebody else gets into the scope of the sniper, that's the problem with this. They bribe the spot, the spot the food really bigger. Yeah, like that sort of thing. It's like, again, it's like, understand that conspiracy theories are about emotional truth and not literal truth. And they make a lot more sense. The emotional truth of behind why people fall into that is, the world is profoundly fucked up and I want a reason why. And the answer is, it's, it's fucking capitalism, lads. It's always capitalism. I'm sorry, it's, it's just, it's the capitalism. But it's not, okay, it's not literally always capitalism. It's just almost always capitalism. <laughs> or something that's a result of capitalism because the whole world is built off the capitalist system. Yes, continue on walk path. <laughs> Thanks, Brave Fox. Love ya. <laughs> Brave Fox, excuse me. Brave Fox is like, I'm helping, bitch. God, I love her. Look at this little dork. Look at her. She's terrific. <laughs> yeah, you don't need a fake shadow bunty man. You should be mad at the government. And to be fair, the government are probably just incompetent rather than actively trying to do a fucking shadowy conspiracy. They, they just suck. The government just sucks. You elected a government that sucks. Admittedly, part of why people are drawn to, like, the grand Illuminati-style conspiracy theories is partly because... They feel like if somebody's in charge, that's more reassuring than nobody being in charge. <laughs> that's a genuine thing, I think. It's like, if I remember correctly, is that, like, it feel even if you're not the one who's secretly controlling the world, it feels nice to feel like somebody is capable of doing that. Because it gets rid of the truth that, yeah. Most people are just like... Oh, there's also real shit like the CIA, but um, calling the CIA competent is uh, something I refuse to do. Um, I just... So... Like, the CIA are also idiots. They gave people a bunch of drugs to try and see whether people could develop psychic powers at one point. Like, they're fucking idiots. They exist quite heavily to justify their own funding. But yeah, I am. Um, but they are—they are the closest thing to a real-life conspiracy thing you would get, right? Like there are actual government spy shit, but like people know about them. Like they don't know exactly what's going on with them, but they know about them, right? We know that like the British government has spies. We know that every government has spies. Often we will know the name and location of their headquarters, like. You don't need to make up a bigger conspiracy to... <laughs> you can just be mad at the actual government. <laughs> Lads. Anyway, I think the CIA would murder me if I tried to leak a cheese recipe. I think that tracks. Don't post on the War Games forums. Oh god, yeah. We exist in a world where people are like, yeah, no, there's a shadowy government conspiracy. But they also exist, but they haven't acknowledged they live in a world where people fucking <laughs> leak tank schematics on the war for the surface every five minutes. I... Oh. Ultimately, it's, it's easier to assume stupidity than it is malice. Oh, of course. 
They both go... Three in the last week? Jesus Christ! At this point, people are just doing it for the meme, aren't they? Oh. Oh, Jesus Christ. They wanted it in the game, so they're like, you know what, we'll get it in the game. If we fucking leak confidential military documents they're not allowed to use anyway. <laughs> Oh, fucking hell. I love streaming. I get to run my mouth about lunch of bullshit for a while. It's great. <laughs> also, this mute. This is the music for a lot of the hard mode dungeons, and it's real good. I love this music so much. <gasps> Uploaded to follow Brave Locks. Yeah. Follow Gobby Friend. This way is Sneakway. Hell yeah! Illuminati will not have cheese. <laughs> Again. I don't think using the Illuminati thing is a good idea. But it is somewhat detooth defanged by the fact that they are very much... They are very much making this about che the, the, the Illuminati want cheese. This is a Wallace and Gromit plot. I love it. Check gliders. Uh, I think I do with the ads. You're right. Apologies if I have to remember the bloody mechanics again. Uh, this last boss is going to be a nightmare with... The last boss of this one is going to be a nightmare because I remember the mechanic of that one because it was a horrible mechanic. To deal with with people, let alone a bunch of robots, who are standing in the AOE puddles. Are you kidding me, lads? Lads, I don't think those piles are good to stand in. Cecily, is this you again? Oh, you know what? I can just read this. Dead. Oh shit, I actually leveled up! <laughs> I can add. I didn't really. I forgot that I was gaining experience for this. God, but yeah, like. People really do like leaking confidential documents, huh? It's like technically a lot of things like that, I think, right? Like, um, I think technically you can ask for like what information the government has on you in America. The problem is that nobody does because it's such a pain to deal with. Because it's like, it's like a, it's almost a technical limitation where like, the law technically has to keep allowing this, because no one's changed it. But at the same time, they really don't want to, so they just make the process as hard as possible. You know, it's the it's the NHS in the UK, except uh, with government secrets, I guess. General Electric makes toasters and washing machines makes a fighter jet. Oh god. Yeah, no, I'm... I think there's an episode of Defunct Land, which is a, um, it's a pretty good series. I think that, um, the host can be a little bit, um, centrist in conclusion sometimes, but I think that is mostly just so that Disney doesn't sue him, because he does primarily do a lot of content about Disney. Um... And if they think he's their enemy, they might be a lot less friendly to the poor dude, uh, who is already treading in somewhat tricky water by recording the history of, like, old, like, theme park rides and stuff that Disney has taken, has got rid of. But they are objectively pro-theme park, yeah, that's... 
Defunct Land is very pro theme, very pro theme park. I think that is the, the if you can say anything about Defunct Land's ideology, it is in fact that they are pro theme park. But yeah, um, they did a video on um, uh, it's um, Journey into Inner Space. I think it was called. Maybe I might be muddling it up. There's a few of these like early Epcot style rides where they were like educational things sponsored by big corporations um, which involved basically a simulator ride um, uh, this one was kind of important because it was like so basically this one was uh, about going inside the atoms of a molecule right it's uh, iconic and important because it's the same ride system they used for... No, that's a different ride. Um, that's Buzzy. You're thinking of the ride with Buzzy, which is a different ride about shrinking down and going inside something. Specifically in that one, I think that one's Body Wars? Look, there's a... Again, there's like three of them. Disney did this concept a surprisingly large amount, right? And to be fair, Disney's good at making theme park rides, so they were good theme park rides. I will not, I want to be pro theme park, simply hate roller coasters, get dragged to Universal Studios. God. Oh, I'm sorry, Aria, uh, Tarsia. <laughs> sorry. Um, yeah, no. It's like, I love theme parks. Um, I am also terrified to go on most theme park rides, but like, I know that if I was going to a theme park with, um, say, my girlfriend who has an adrenaline allergy and will be in extreme pain if we go on a roller coaster, I'm going to discuss that with her first to make sure she has stuff to do. Perhaps? But yeah, micro stuff was free. Please don't panda. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, like, um, this was like earlier than that because the ride's iconic because it's the ride system in the Haunted Mansion. This was a pre-Haunted Mansion ride, uh, sponsored by a chemical company in the 70s, right? And then the Vietnam War happened, and it turns out that that company who was, had sponsored a ride about the miracles of chemistry were making Agent Orange, yeah, Panda. They were the biggest manufacturer of Agent, of Agent Orange. And somehow they got less, they somehow got less uh, bad publicity than others, but like, they were the primary producer of Agent Orange. Like, the song, Miracles from Molecules, there's just a bit where where fucking defunct man Kevin is playing the Miracles from Molecules song over the fucking footage of the Vietnam War and it's like Jesus fucking Christ. I forgot why I got onto this. I've got to beat up the God Machine GV whatever. Okay, and Illuminati snipers again are a problem. Uh, this guy will rotate for a bit while you deal with the ads, and then he's going to drop a bunch of bombs, right? Uh, and what we need to do is make a safe zone in the bombs. Knock the bombs away from everyone. Knock the bombs away from everyone. Get a safe zone. Oh my god, they're actually coded to deal with the bombs? Okay, I survived. That's impressive, honestly. I did not expect to survive that. Yeah, I've seen this mechanic just completely flummox a party of actual human beings. So the fact that the AI has been programmed to deal with it is 
actually kind of surprising. <laughs> War Thunder, WikiLeaks, and General Electric making fighter jet miniguns. Yeah. Like, yeah, this wonderful chemistry company. Hey, you like chemicals? Well, have I got the, the theme park ride for you, good friend. Oh god, okay, I'm gonna take a few of them. But I'm alive! Thank you, Cecily, for not killing us all. Wait, I'm not allowed to thank Cecily for anything. Hold on. Execute limit break! Quick! <laughs> How is the Final Fantasy? I... <laughs> We're killing the Illuminati who are but who want my che who want my friend's cheese recipe. Did I die? Oh. Oh, thank fuck I thought I died. <laughs> I enjoy video game. Thank you, Totodi. Thank you, Toragana, and thank you very much, Brayflox, the best girl. We've saved your your long stop, Brayflox. What do you have to say about that, Brayflox? Cheese has got me birthright. Hold on. Ah, oh, come, Brayflox. Say your dialogue. Say the line, Brayflox. Rayflox doesn't want to say the line. Ooh. Oh well, bite. <laughs> yeah, I'm playing dungeons with my AI squad for some reason. I really shouldn't be. They're not very good at their jobs. But <laughs> welcome to this place. This is where the the this happens. Okay. Uh, no additional items there. I have gained a dark light eye patch of aiming. Let's compare it to the other eye patch I own, which I can't wear on this character. That's a really cool eye patch. Is this a really cool eye patch? That's a really cool. That's the same eye patch but with the colors reversed. <laughs> yeah, I'm putting that in the glamour dress dresser. Um, okay. Dark light corset of aiming. Try it on. Holy shit, that's actually fucking rad looking. Oh, that looks cool, actually. You're going in the, the thing as well. God. Yeah, it's very weird to be like, yeah, this electric company makes that stuff. We've we've gone on a long journey today. Dark light areas of fendering. They can be decent. They're, they don't look good. They're just generic earrings. Give me the rocks. Yeah. My rock collection gl grows. Final Fantasy XIV is a video game. <laughs> hmm. Hold on. Is that better than my... Uh, I have a lot of unequipped rings that I could trash right now, actually. Hmm. But it was a book? <laughs> Thank you, Jess. You've... Okay, I'm just going to check that none of my level 60s have any of this gear that they need right now. Because I... I think it's going to be worse, but I just want to check. Yep, I can trash all of these if I want to. That's a ton of rings I can just throw in the bin. Get out of here. Join my rock collection. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jazz. You're appreciated. <laughs> oh. Holy shit, that's a big rock. Oh yeah, my, my small little edgy child is going to destroy God. That's probably what I'm doing here, right? I get more of these. Can I make anything with this 
ingot, that means it won't take up slot in my inventory right now. On, I can. Oh, I can! I've got stuff I can make. Okay then, let's go to the highest level inventory on here, and then that isn't. Set up a crafting method. I need two of them. Okay, not that one then. I need three of them for that one, so I'm going to assume you're not that. Okay, crafting method. Can I craft a basilisk whetstone? No, I need to get basilisk eggs. Jesus Christ, the recipes in this game get to a point. Um, but I can make that, and I can probably make brass rings. Yep, I can make brass rings. And so actually the aquamarine would be the hard one. Yeah, I'd have to go out and craft the end. This isn't actually saving me any. I'm just trying to save inventory space. I just want to have less invent more inventory space. Oh my god, it needs the fucking ring sign! Oh, okay, can I actually make this shit? Can I make this? No, I can't! Oh. I'm... I'm... I just wanted to save inventory space. I just wanted inventory space. Oh. Hold on. Actually realizing a thing. Which is that at this point, I think I actually have a better equipment than this eye patch. Let's put that in there as well. There we go. My eye patch collection grows. I am not wearing an eye patch on any of my characters right now. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about anything. It's all fine. Everything's going to be fine. Watch me do push-ups. It's all fine. I actually access this dude while I'm doing push-ups. Hold on, I'm going to test, test something. Can I do push-ups for him and then talk to him? I can! The pu oh, the push-ups ended. Never mind. Okay. So. Hmm. Are you... Are you all willing to suffer a bit longer? <laughs> because eventually this character is going to actually have the level to do the... Oh, oh wait, wait a minute. Hmm. You know what, fuck it. Let's see, how, let's see if I can just do all of these. Eventually, I'm going to redo the... Eventually, if I level up enough, I can even redo the vault. That'll be a thing. And these, maybe these nerds will be high enough level to do it as well. Because actually, now I think about it, they might not actually be as high level as me. Come on, lads. we got to go mining. I think uh, Cogwell Mines is one of the ones that I'm a little bit like. I'm not the most ethically happy with how this dungeon is because these giant dudes do sure seem like they might be the good guys. I mean, they are not open to reason, I will say that, but I feel like they were buried in a mine for decades and then were like, I'm finally free, let us go free, and then we just start fucking murdering them. But I think the game kind of agrees with, what the f- La Lads, the, the, the lift, the, 
The lift! Get in the... Fine, I'm leaving you. Bye. It's your own fault, Cecily. It's your own fault. Well, time to solo the dungeon, I guess. Dumpy dumpy doo. Dumpy dumpy doo. Oh, there they are. <laughs> I wasn't 100% that was going to happen, but I'm very glad it did. <laughs> yeah, they definitely at least tested these once with the NPCs, I think. The problem is that the people who make this game are um, MMO players, and as a result, may actually be too good at the game. <laughs> Sometimes I've heard that they've had to nerf content in the past because the the playtesters didn't realise how hard it was because they were too good at the game. Which is a wonderful problem to have. <laughs> but also, kind of bad. Because everybody wants to play the game, not just super players, you know? Like... What the the aggro is being really weird on the enemies. Like they keep charging for the other people. Yeah. Yeah, no, I don't disagree. But um a playtest is can be used for in difficulty balancing as well. And I think it is not outside the job description to be like, hey, uh, Kevin. Um, you know this... Okay, no, I, I've done testing work on games. Oh, I can just... I can't say exactly what was too hard, but there was an objective during a game I was testing that um, basically was the hardest thing in the entire game. Right? It was a nightmare. The playtesters could barely get past it. So, we did a little suggestion report, like, hey, um, this is not manageable. <laughs> this is an unfeasible level of challenge for people who have been spending their entire time testing this game for months. Um, can you fix that? And they did. They, they fixed it quite quickly. <laughs> um... In fact, the reason it was hard was an underestimated. They underestimated how hard it would be for players to pull off a certain mechanic. But they did. They fixed it. That's what testers are for. It's not just about. It is primarily about finding game-breaking bugs and such. But like. At the same time, it's not only about that. It is about making sure the game's good, to some degree, you know? There's only so much you can do, they're not going to remake the game because a tester hated it, but like... And you are going to probably hate that game by the end of the testing period, because you'll have been playing it non-stop to make sure everything works. Oh cr- Lads, what are you doing?! Yeah, I am. Um, I bet that there's, um, like, with an MMO. God, me, you are correct. Um, but, like, with um, MMOs in particular, they've probably got a. Um, what I believe they do is they will make a, like, server with just authorized testers in it, uh, and they'll play on that server and make sure that everything works. Jesus, that's... That's a pretty rough stipulation, but, like... I don't think that's necessarily the worst idea. Making sure that thing can be done if you know that your testers are really good at the, the series, and that's not a bad idea, necessarily. As silly as that sounds. Oh. 
Oh god, does your girlfriend take you to the events? Neat. Oh, there's a post. There's an incoming in game con at some point. Uh, developers putting it in the game. Yeah. That's also fair. I am. Um, I'm thinking about Super Meat Boy's development, where um. Uh, I believe how they balanced that one was that they made sure that they'd made the levels. They saw how, I, I believe that Edmund Millen saw how fast he could remove, get through the level and then made the part time several seconds faster than that. Which is probably not the best move, honestly, but it did work out. So there is something to be said about knowing how good your uh, your own gaming skills are when it comes to these things. Oh Christ! Okay, this is going to get rough because I know the mechanic here, and the mechanic is this guy sets the fucking bridge on fire. Oh God! Run, lads! Run, lads! to be on me fire Cecily you're stood in the fire oh Christ okay living dead living dead living dead to kill the bombs or I'll die. All of my friends are stood in the fucking water in the fucking oh. oh that's sweet of you. Yeah I might actually um I don't know I forget when that convention's gonna happen but being that it's a free in-game convention and I can actually attend the thing I might I might because I haven't done... I like conventions. I'm just also terrified of people and germs. So I don't tend to go to them much. Hold on. Wasn't there a treasure chest? There was originally a treasure chest here. Oh, I see. Because that's the pub in now. Yeah, they reroute the mine a bit. Um, between the hard versions. It's neat. Come on, lads. Down the hole. There we go. I stranded miners. Yeah, no. Come on, delete. The, it's time to destroy the collapsed rock, everybody. This is definitely a good idea. Oh, Christ! Yeah, so, um, the mechanic here is, don't let the miners fucking die. <laughs> uh, wait, is it Phantas? Oh, God. Oh, no, conventions. I... I'm playing this right now because I'm too, I was too depressed to, to message Jesse to ask if it was okay to do the fucking Discord stream today. I'm... T <laughs> I don't think convention things are what I should be thinking about when I'm in this bad of a place. Yay! Oh yeah! Look at this one. This boss is fun. I mean, Eorzea is a fucking terrible place to live, but I'm gonna save it anyway. Because I can.
that's the thing with this world. It's very much, I, it very much feels like one of the big themes of this game is just like, this world sucks. That the, the history of this world is bad. People have done horrible things in the past and we are, and they will probably never make up for it. Necess they will not necessarily ever make fun up for it. Save the day anyway. And it's like, it is a theme of like, is being a, is it worth being a good person even when the world you're trying to save is kind of shit, you know? Which is a pretty, honestly a pretty precedent theme when you consider my themes on the real world. And in fact, I'm going to say that thing, I live there. This guy actually like does aggro properly. I think this might be one of those weird bosses that's just like, you know what? I'm going to ignore everything. Fuck you. Big he has only begun to fight, apparently. I mean, I think the reason we should save the world is that I live on it, and in perfect it is, I'd rather be alive and hopeful than dead. Okay. Oh, they blew up the bomb that I was holding, didn't they? Well, that's a rat's ass. Do you want to do the limit break, everyone? <laughs> Fuck it. Ugh. Ow. Hydrate and Streech? Oh god, I'm mid-fight. Oh. I'm running out of... Oh god. No oh, god. I was targeting the wrong thing! Oh! Jesus! Marshmallow! Oh god, that ah, um, Well, I actually getting you three, so try to run that. Just get it stuck together. Jesus! Oh, bloody hell, that wasn't what I intended, I promise. Oh. I'm going to stretch my legs as I try to murder this thing. Ugh, stretch! These are small, these are big! I think he's too young to die. I love that. I love that, boss. <clears throat> Screech out! 
Reach out. Reach out. Reach out. Oh yeah, there's a proper like cafe, isn't there? Oh yeah. Ow, my bones. <laughs> I could. I mean, may honestly, I do. If I was doing the Hildebrand, I definitely would. But, um, okay. So, uh, my friend Rift wanted to see me do the Hildebrand stuff, actually, um, and I kept trying to hang out with them when I was around. I wanted to hang out with them, so I kept putting off the Hildebrand quest until they were around. This was bad because it meant I never got to play the Hildebrand quest because I was just trying to wait for them to be online so I could hang with them. So streaming would definitely end up being the same situation <laughs> where I want to keep playing Hildebrand and I can't. So I'm not doing that shit. Sorry everybody. Um, I would recommend um, Playframe did a playthrough of the Hildebrand stuff. But they've done a playthrough of the whole story mode. But uh, they teamed up with Joe Cat of the uh, those um, bad guide videos to do Hildebrand's voice, and it's fucking great. Like, it's it's just fun. It's very fun to hear Joe Cat do fucking Hildebrand voice, and they also seem like they well, they seem like they have good chemistry. It's a it's a fun time. I would say that might be the best way to actually experience the Hildebrand quest. Especially as they are willing, as I commented on the video, they actually called, like, Hildebrand's first section has a bit which is kind of, uh, there's a man in a dress joke in it, right? And, you know, getting a bunch of, uh, getting two cis men to be barely good is out. <sighs> Not a low... I don't want to say that's a high bar, because basic human decency shouldn't be, but bear in mind that quest was made like 10 years ago at this point, so I am a little forgiving of the game itself. However, I do appreciate that when they played that section, um, Dan and Dan Floyd and uh, fucking and Joe Cat, um, who I don't know the real name of, both went, yeah, this sucks. They're wrong. This man rocks this dress, in fact. And they're fucking correct. That that guy looks amazing in the dress. I'm not spoiling it. You can probably guess, but fucking... I'm glad. Their name is Cat. <laughs> I mean, literally not. I mean, they are a cat boy, but like... They're probably actually cool. Hold on. Yeah, is... I don't know, because, like... Um, I follow a Yu-Gi-Oh! YouTuber type who does, like, uh, highlight... Master Duel highlights. His username is Luke Von Karma. His name is fucking Danny. <laughs> As a result, I refuse to assume that somebody is actually their username. How do you... I also know that Wayne Radio TV, of Wayne Radio TV fame, is not called Wayne. Like, it, it's partly because he was trying to do online an anonymity. To be clear, it's it wasn't him, like... It's not a Luke Von Karma situation where his name is well known, which is why I will not be saying his legal name. But, like, Sean isn't called Sean. Sean could not. I don't know if Sean is actually called Sean. That's the thing, right? It could be that's the case, right? Sean could be called fucking Brian. And he was like, Sean's a better name. And he just fucking... Big Joel is neither big nor called Joel. That's another one. That's another... Like, seriously, Big Joel isn't called Joel. He's not, and he's also not very big. <laughs> like, that's... 
He's a malicious criminal. Yup. Like I am. You will never know if my legal name is actually Zoe or not. And that's for the best, really. <laughs> You'll never know. I could be called Brian and you wouldn't know. I'm not called Brian. I've never been called Brian. <laughs> ah! Welcome to this room. Here's a boss fight with mechanics that I will be the only one dealing with again. Patty bye! No, literally, like, my, that's not my dead name. <laughs> but I'm gonna need to get close to one of these rocks for, um... For boss fight reasons. Because this guy is not the only one in the fight. His pet worm is also in the fight. But his pet worm likes rock. So you just pop a rock down. And the worm will eat that rock rather than one of your teammates now. Rinse and repeat. Actually, I think I need to wait for the particular move. Ah, there's the particular move. Grab the rock. Put the rock down. Also grab this dude, because he's going to be annoying to everyone. Come on, lads, over here. That's a good army of giants. Dude, actually, because he's too strong not to. Jesus Christ. Oh, the worm's searching. Grab the rock. You want rock? Totati, you won't want to be standing near that. Buddy. Oh, dang it. Searching for fodder. Feed him a rock. Come on, lads. This rock's over here for everyone. I've still got a pop of living dead if I need it. I meant legal name, to be fair. Um, like, I'm fairly sure that if you walked up to Wayne Radio TV and said, Hi, Wayne from Wayne Radio TV, Wayne would in fact say hi because his name is Wayne. But his legal name, or at least is not, or at least was not, Wayne, or most of his time as Wayne Radio TV, famed streamer of Wayne's. Thick skirt. Thanks, lads. Jesus Christ. No, Wayne did not transition. He is unfortunately a cishead. Ah, can't do... Uh, that one needs to be sold, because I do not have any other way to do that. Hooray! Oh, for f I didn't... 
it seems to be resorting my stuff regardless of whether I want it to. That's weird. Okay, try on this bandana. I mean, it sure is a... It is the sort of thing a pirate would wear, I guess. And eh, no. I will turn it into rocks. That's woolen yarn and one rock. Okay. <laughs> Me, please. Me. Look. For crimes. Okay. Oh. Oh, man. That is ironworks gear. That is not something I want to destroy. Or well, steer ring bands. Um. Okay, those actually do look quite cool. Those would go nicely on one of my black mage costumes, I'd say. Uh, let's pop you in here. Uh, where's those trousers I got? Demagogue trousers. They make me look like I peed myself into the bin. They are going. <laughs> And the thick skirt is a worse version of a skirt I already own. A worse looking one, sorry. Well, I've gained Hippogriff leather. Let's lower the quality of that and uh, hope that I don't need to deal with this shit anymore, Jesus. Okay. And you desynthesize all of the jewelry. <laughs> no. No, don't make me related to Stephen Moffat. That's a crime. I don't want to be related to Stephen Moffat. <laughs> no. No, no, no. Yeah, just decent thing stuff is. I got a lot of loot from this one. That's kind of unfortunate. Oh, clear damage material is only good for selling. By the way, that's the one that you can't craft into anything. Okay, get the rose golden there. Do I have Electrum in here, actually? I have Rose Gold, but not Electrum yet. Um, do I have Hippogriff Leather? I am going to have to sort my fucking inventory again, aren't I? Okay, I have... Yeah, I don't have Leather of it, I've just got the skin. Which means let's try and craft something with this shit, rather than... Why am I not searching out the Leather work? But you can just harden the hippogriff leather? Huh. Ah, looks like I am um, not high enough leather to level to work with hippogriff leather. Thanks, Todd. <laughs> Why did I blame Todd Howard for that one? Todd Howard probably didn't deserve that in this particular case. It's rare that Todd Howard doesn't deserve it, but... <laughs> Archers, rogues, pugilists are still in waiting. Make sure all of these are in the right order again, because I... Going to have a flipping time with the ship. So much.
go, finish that, um, just to double check. Yep, no recipes requiring Demo Materia 3, so it is only good for selling. Terrific. <sighs> Let's temporarily... You know what, no, no, we shouldn't do that yet. No reason to do that yet. No reason to do that yet. Glamour Dresser, you want my gloves? Too bad, you're getting him. <sighs> oh yeah, I didn't talk to this dude. Challenge complete! Uh. Oh, they didn't even level up, that's... Is worrying the right word? I don't think it is. Oh, okay, let's... What level are... I think these guys are... Yeah, these are out... Yeah, so actually it's the tank that's going to be a problem with the experience at this point, if I want to do the level 57 dungeon. These ones. Dismiss that guy. What I wait, what am I Oh yeah, selling. Oh it's oh it's later than I thought it was, huh? I probably do need to go to bed actually. I've been having my my sleep patterns have been completely balked the past however long. Yeah, I'm not buying things, by the way. I'm just going to sell you a slime puddle and some demi materia. There you go. Then I can just quickly go pop these in here to a sort. My inventory is getting clogged, but it's admittedly not as bad as it could be. Probably, I hope, maybe. Yeah, I need to level some crafting jobs so I can get rid of a lot of this stuff that's not really useful. Can I... Oh, I can make mithril Hmm. Hmm. I'm just checking my currency. Yep, no, that's doing fine. This won't be fun to watch, is the problem, but... This, I do want to grind to my crafting classes up. And to my gathering... Me, you joke, but like, there is literally a Doctor Who story. It's not a very good one. But it's uh, called Sleep No More, and it uh, posits that we need to sleep as humans, otherwise eye bogey monsters will come out of our eyes and try to take over the world. And also there may be a, um, it's also a found footage one, it uh, has one of the first trans actresses in Doctor Who being repeatedly referred to as It because she's playing a rope, like a clone thing. Another person. I don't think it's particularly good casting. They should have thought that through, really. Anyway, and it's like a weird found footage one where the eye bogey monsters will kill you. Because they're a fucking cognito hazard or some shit. It's a it's a it's not a very good episode. It's it's pretty Which is shame because I I like the premise of doing Doctor Who episodes with different formats, but it doesn't work. Um, but yeah, I think I want to do off-stream grinding stuff for a bit, and that's not going to be fun to watch. So I think I should end the stream before we have a miserable time. But yeah, anyway, you're, you need to sleep, otherwise you'll get infected with the eye bogey monsters, everyone. Very important. Oh shit! <laughs> I'm not going to raid Joe Cat, but I mentioned him earlier, and he is streaming. That's funny. Um... But also, he's got like 200 viewers. He don't. He doesn't need the raid. As lovely as he seems, I he doesn't need it. <laughs> Especially when Pank's playing fucking Disco Elysium. Bloody heck. Um, should probably do content warning beforehand, but like, 
Skull Easy means one of my favourite games of all time and Pank is playing it. Tempting. Mm. It's going through everywhere else. Oh. Make sure everyone's happy. Yeah, no, we're, go we're going to Pank. It's, it's time to raid the fucking squid. Uh, or not? Did Pank just end? Not coming up in the... That's weird. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. The raid phrase will never be that unless I am sponsored by them, by the way. Um, hold on, please work. Pank. Bra. Ooh. No results found. Okay. I guess Pank's fed up with me reading them as well. <laughs> or, or something's glitched and now Twitch is working. Um. Hmm. Oh, let's... Does that work? Okay, that one worked. Okay. Fucking, fucking, uh, okay, sure, I fucking guess, um, fucking Twitch, I swear, um, anyway, um, quick do a shout out, as I swap to the ball pit, because I'm dumbass, come on. When she got them back to Florida, and he proceeded to eat them oh. immediately, starting on the car ride home. Okay. Yeah, and guess what? That's danger zone right there. That's how you get food poisoning because you left it out for too long. Well, he's dead yeah. now, so. <laughs> no. oh. I guess he's dead now. Not to like, wow. Not to like be mean about it. It's just like it just came out of nowhere. Um. So yeah, no, knowing, knowing Hank's family, I think it's okay to be a little mean. Oh yeah. Um. Knowing Hank's family, it's okay yeah, to be a little mean. Yeah. Can someone tell the back, please? Hold on, so it's Pink's oh, Sushi. Sorry. Um, I have a raid message. God damn it, why does it keep... I, that is not... I swear that's not what that's mapped to. Okay. My raid. I can do that. I can do that. Shit. There's the raid phrase. Oh, I didn't even plug myself. <laughs> it's fine. They all know. Hi, YouTube VOD. Only you're hearing this. If you're hearing this in the YouTube VOD, type balls. In the chat. 